sometimes some have problems and they tell me about their problems and I tell them what I think. You know, they don't have to go by what I think. You just gotta know how to talk to people. If you can't relate to people, you'll never make it in this business. Because anybody can shine up a shoe. It's all about the conversation you have. They, that's what they come for, the conversation. I do it because I like people. I love to meet nice people all over the world. Yeah, I did a couple football players, a couple basketball players. Basketball players, they got some long feet. She was about this long, man. It's long feet. Trip you out to see it, though. Just to see how long their feet are. They don't look as long on the TV, but when they get up in your face and you see, you have to sit back and do them, you know? The best thing about the job, if you do good work, you always will have a job, but if you don't do good work, you, people don't want you. Got yeah, a great deal of following. Um, got a lot of people who just would prefer that you just do the shoes, no one else. You know, that's good. so it's good. And then I've been offered a couple of jobs while I've been here, so you know it gives you a chance to kind of to build your communication skills. You know, and I think a lot of people like to sit here and talk about anything, you know, and feel that they can talk, you know, talk about something and you really listening. Not on the man that you shine. On the thing the man had on while I was shining the shoes, not him, just me. And I was just shining the shoes. This is the only one I, this is the only one I can't stay too long with. I got tired of running up and down the road. So I said the next job I get, I just keep it. And that's, I've been here ever since. It's the best thing in the world when a man come in, come in your shop and want to shine. The best thing in the world to give him a good shine so he can, uh, so he won't shame, be sure he won't love it. So, see, as I'm a, Old man, 88 years old, and so whatever I do to keep a job, I have to do it right. So I don't keep no job. Hey, I heard about you in England. I said, well, me, I ain't been up there. He said, well, you, they said, they said if the, you could stop through the airport, you want to get a shoe shine, he's a good one. Everybody say I'm good. I know I'm good, shoe shine, but I let the custom tell them. I was young, I was now 15 years old. 15 years old, no other folks there. I was, I was my own boss. But I shine shoes, I do love everything. I come to school, I come this time. I cut grass, I work, I did, I work in private home too. I've got two and a half, well, two and a half years of college. And I was always told, you know, to work for yourself. And what a better way? Yeah, to work for yourself. It doesn't take much time, you know, um, and plus I can still apply some of my skills from school uh -huh. for marketing, uh -huh. you know. So it's, it's decent. It's, it's a really decent job. In the 60s, I opened up a record shop and a variety store, and I put a shoe shine stand in it. And because that was one of the ways that I could uh, secure the, the uh, the uh, money for overhead in case the other part of the business didn't work out that would support us. And it did, and it worked out. I find shoes last longer if you take care of them, if you keep a good coat of wax on it and keep them shine, then they uh, tend to last longer. Mm -hmm. And uh, use uh, OU shoe trees, hang them when, when you take them off, and kind of uh, take good care of them, they'll last a lot longer. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's worth coming down and try to do it once a month or so at least, at the minimum, for each shoe. I had a pair of shoes that I've been shining. These shoes right here, they're about 12 years old. And I've been, you know, been just keeping them up, you know. But, you know, the shoes, he's, the shoe can be like, it had no strings in it, but you have, and you're polishing them so long, you know, and 
she would just stay together naturally because the polish is holding it together. So, you know, it, it probably, the polish would probably hold it together by itself at least two years, at least. Like kiwi. This meanwhile, that like kiwi, it don't smell like that other parts you get down in the land world, because you, you can smell it. You can smell it. But that part down in the land world, if you leave the top off of it, it'll turn white on you. So this here, you can leave the top off, it won't turn white. Show yourself. You don't catch many shiner. You wash the shoe like that, like I do. Now you see all that dirt come up? Mm -hmm. Now they are, they are taking put polish over that dirt. That's to cover up the uh, cover up the dirt to keep from working. I'm the best shine of the year than in Indianapolis. See, I take pain with folks' shoes and fix them right. It's a lot of different companies out here that make waxes. Um, we just prefer to use Kiwi. And you know, the type of shine that we give, is not too many people out here giving them. Uh -huh. You know, you just, normally you just find a basic, you know, buff, waxed and buff. But, um, well, I think a lot of people appreciate the type of time that we put in the shoes. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of women coming in here shoe really? shine. Another thing I was mm -hmm. not that A lot of powders. Not that many women, though, in general, get their sh uh, shoe shine. I had one lady come in and get shoe shine, and she had how much a chore. I said, since you got a, a smaller feet, I don't want to just charge you about $2. <laughs> and she still gave me $5, because, you know, charge $2, she gave me 5 to keep change. You know, now, the women on the plane, they tip better than the powders do. I noticed that the other day. I got a shine powder shoe. It's I mean, that's three fifty, and that's exactly what I got. I think location is always good for shoe shine service. You know, you, you have to be where people can see you. You know, I can buy a cheap pair of tennis shoes and throw them away, and get another pair at the price it cost cost to keep these up, looking good and everything. You know, because if you stop and think about it, a tennis shoe really is a waste, you know. You, you wear it on, on hot days. You can't wear them on cold days. Really can't wear either one on cold days. You gotta have, at least, you gotta have one tennis shoe and a dress shoe, because you don't have a dress shoe. What if somebody dies, you know? You can't go wearing tennis shoes. I don't know whether you read the Bible or not, but the Bible says a man's supposed to live out of sweat of his eyebrow. He don't supposed to get out there and you beg you, beg you, beg you to take care of him. He's supposed to take care of his own self. Now this right here is mink oil. That's good for like you get salt on your shoe, you going out, you put some of that on there and keep the salt getting in your shoe. Does that work? Mm -hmm. Does that work? Yeah, I put it on his shoes when you give it. Mm -hmm. I use it on my boots and that. We do what we call, I, I call it a classic shine, old, old original shine. You know, apply three, uh, three amounts of wax on the shoe. Um, then you take a, some water, then you take another dab of wax, mm -hmm. and then you buff it like you would a floor mm -hmm. until you get a gloss shine to it. Mm -hmm. It's like a spit shine. You see, uh, Dot, you got these old tall boots. Now these boots, you take your least 25 or 30 minutes before you can get them through. But a slipper, you're supposed to get that slipper that is done in 10 or 15 minutes. Shine it good and shine the sole. You see, uh, you're supposed to shine these, these heels and soles just like that. Because you go get a job, the first thing the man gonna look at your shoes. 
You look at your shoes and your pants. If you got on bad looking shoes, you might not get that job.